there are times when we're working with textures that they're going to be at the wrong scale. Most textures are designed to be used at the default setting, but some won't be. Uh, sometimes you'll need to make a texture bigger. You want longer grass or shorter grass, or you just want the texture to look more detailed. So to do this, we need to apply a mapping to our texture, to our face. And this is a planar mapping we'll be using. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If we go to terrain and click face, up the top here is a icon we haven't used yet called texture coordinate mapping. So I'm going to click on this and we've got a long list of uh, new options down here. Now at the start all textures will have what's called a default planar applied to them. You can see it says default planar over here at the moment. So we need to create a new mapping and apply that instead if we want to change the scale of our textures. So to do that we just need to click new mapping. It's on planar by default so that's what we want and it's now created a planar called planar 1. Now I always name my mappings. I never stick with the numerical ones that it creates. So I shall keep the word planar but because I'm going to scale my green with this mapping I'm going to call this planar green. Press return. So now I'm going to apply this new mapping to my greens. So I shall go to surface because then I can cl click the all of type option. That way I can do all the greens on the course at once. So I've got those selected. Now I can go back to the, the face. And I've got my planar green and I shall click add to and this will add the planar texture to all of the greens. Now nothing's going to have changed at the moment because it's still set to the default planar settings when you create a new planar. So what I'm going to do is change the scale. So we've got down here uniform scale. And you'll see when I click uniform scale, we've got 16, 16, 16 in the X, Y, Z. Now this is the default settings. So if I change these numbers, such as make that an 8, it will change all three. Because it's on uniform, it will do the same to all three of these. So I'll put 8, enter, and you'll see now our texture has become half the size it was the mow lines. There's twice as much detail. It's a much more detailed uh, texture now because we've made it smaller. It's covering less area so we get a much more detailed texture. It's the equivalent of of doubling the resolution. Uh, it's like taking a 256 texture and changing it into a 512. The downside to it is it's only covering half the area that it was. So if it's a texture that's likely to tile you'll get much more tiling showing by uh, reducing the size of your textures. If it doesn't tile you'll get a much more high res detailed look. We can do the other way if I make it 32 rather than 16. You'll see it's immediately gone a bit grainier because it's spread right over the green and now a mow stripe is twice the size of the fairway stripes. Although I tell a lie, they're about the same. But so that's a simple way of scaling the textures. And now there is 
a thing called a gizmo which makes life a lot easier so that's the icon up here if I select the gizmo transform you'll see when I move the mouse over I'm now getting a scale control and if I click and hold now I can actually drag left and right and you can see the texture scale changing as I drag it and the numbers down here are also changing as I do it as well so I can drag it down and down and there we've got very small mo lines now very detailed texture um, you can get right up close to it and it's still very very detailed <laughs>